Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Today's reading is going to be a general reading and this will be the theme of the reading. I just love this card. Full moon and Gemini, embrace the flow of life. So there may be changes coming into the horizon. Going with the flow though seems to be indicated let us consult the tarot and see what else you need to know. What advice do you have for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aries? Okay, we will lay out the tarot and then we'll conclude with an angel answers. Well, you got the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands, Temperance. Go with the flow is here a couple of times now. Strength, the Wheel of Fortune, I should say so. Temperance, this is turning out to be quite lovely. And the High Priestess, look, you have five major arcana. When we only have eight cards, that is significant. Those are major life events. They're not just the day-to-day. -day. I and You have two archangels, but sh I sure do like this. When you get involved with something like the Archangel Michael, the Archangel Gabriel, and the Wheel of Fortune for you, this is like things are going to pick up and pick up quickly. So I do feel like there's going to be a change, yes, but it also too may move very quickly, but this is a change for the better. So if you're single, I don't see you staying that way. If it's a job or a move, I actually get somebody making a move here with that Wheel of Fortune energy. I also get two on more of a spontaneous, somewhat of a daily level, move, taking a spontaneous trip, okay, last minute kind of thing. So get ready because you may get those last minute invitations coming in in this energy. But this is fun, it's buoyant, it's uplifting, it makes you feel alive in this energy. And it's also in some ways a in a very emotionally safe energy. So if something's been holding you back, if you've been burdened by something, because you have it here in the cards, that burden is being lifted off of your shoulders. You're not going to have to keep doing that. You're not going to have to keep whatever that struggle is, keep that up. So with the Five of Pentacles, you do have a change. And if it has been a breakup and you've had to alter some things in your life, or even if it was a job loss and you had to alter some things and pull back on some things and perhaps get more aware of what you were doing with your spending, I do feel like it's actually long-term much for the better. And if you're one too, I heard somebody's a real clothes horse. Like you have multiple closets full of clothing. Okay, I feel like somebody too, you may just be making a change to say, this has gotten a little crazy. Like, I don't need all this. I'm just going to go minimalist, which is like not really minimalist. I mean, let's not joke here. Let's not kid ourselves. I would never lie to you and either with the cards, but I do feel like somebody's making a change, at least trying to be more aware of what they're doing. So with this five of pentacles, I do feel like there is a bit of, I heard separation anxiety, and it feels more like between you and an environment. So if you are changing gyms or coffee shops or gas stations or whatever it is where you're saying I, I do need to make a change I feel like there are some growing pains but look that's part of why the tarot is here it's part of why we're here too so this ten of wands shows those growing pains as well and if you have been painstaking about something in your life I see somebody like painting like little tiny and I do feel like this is symbolic but almost like a little tiny doll face you know where it takes such precision and that sort of thing, accuracy, precision. Now, it may not be that particular activity, but if there's some area of your life where it's required a lot of your attention, focus, precision, and accuracy, where you're like, I cannot make a mistake on this. I do feel like you're coming to an end. You're concluding that cycle and that project. And I do feel like it's a heavy burden off your shoulders. Like you're really going to be feeling the relief of this ending because this Ten of Wands is, is not something we can sustain forever. Yeah, we can get by in a, for a while doing it. But if it's other people depending on you too, even if it's something like not enough people working with you and you're shouldering the brunt of that, and even if they're paying you extra, but you're saying, this is not my happy, joyous, free. I don't like this. I do feel like you're going to be putting those wands down. Whatever it is, you're letting go of something because it's here repeatedly. 
you are going to be embracing that flow of life. So whatever has you swimming against a current Aries, you're not. It's like, I'm going to turn. I'm going to go with the current. I'm going to make my life easier. I'm going to work smarter, not harder. I'm not going to try to convince people if they are hard-headed and don't want to be convinced. So this Ace of Wands, what a breath of fresh air, man. We made it through the two somewhat difficult cards in this reading. We're on to easier times. This Ace of Wands, though, is magic. And it really, new, new people, new things, anything new that you start, you're going to be in love, all right? New things coming in. I don't care if it's a new t-shirt. You're going to say, I want this in five colors so I can wear it every day. Anything you try on, and I know we talked about being minimalist, you're sucking me into this with you. How dare you? Joking. But you know what I mean? Anything you try on, you might want to stay out of there because you're going to want it, okay? It's like things look good on you. And if you are the one that has so many clothes, go and try stuff on that you haven't worn in a long time. Start weeding that out. You might find, too, with this that you get on quite a tear if it's an organizing tear where you're going to say, I should be videotaping this. I should be vlogging this activity because anything you do, you're going to do it masterfully. Should we talk about love, by the way? I think we need to. So you have somebody coming in here. It might be a Leo. That would be fun. You have Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus is here, Sagittarius is here. So it could be another fire sign, but boy, is it going to light your fire up, man. This is somebody who rocks your world. And so I do feel like in terms of the balance part of your life, if you are single, you're going to need to find some balance because you are going to want to spend a lot of time with this person. And I feel like anything that you're doing that takes up your discretionary time, you're going to have some resentment about it if you don't get it in line, okay? So if there is something like a work situation, I just feel like it kind of gets to be a tipping point in your life, which you do have in the cards. Like saying, I cannot continue it like this because I need to live my life to the fullest. And you have somebody coming in hot, all right? Whoever this is. That may be the spontaneous trips. You have great healing. So if you are the owner of a lonely or a broken heart, it's time to mend that heart, Aries. It's time to get you back out there. Because this energy of temperance, too, is about going with the flow. It's also about making choices carefully. So this is not you hitching your wagon to any old horse, okay? This is you and a partner who makes sense, who you find is easy to be around. They're easy to talk to. And even if you are a little bit on the more intense side, some Aries can be that. We're all a little different, okay? But if you do tend to be somebody where when you get into a zone, you know that, you're in a zone and you kind of need some space, they're going to get that. They're not going to take offense at that. And they're going to kind of find it humorous. In fact, they're even, they might even, I see somebody like giving you little lists. Like, hey, I see you're in the zone. Here's some things if you get some free time. <laughs> Whoever this is is funny. And you're going to find that you don't take yourself too seriously when, when you're with them. They just make everything lighter and easier and more fun. So this strength card energy, again, this is a card of success that comes with patience. So whatever it is that's kind of been, you've been holding out with, you've been dealing with, I do feel like you have a light at the end of the tunnel coming in here. Now, for somebody here, too, if it is something to do with a housing situation and you've been biding your time, I do feel like you're going to have an opportunity here or an offer coming in. And with this energy, I feel like it's going to be very respectable. Okay, these are not offers that are insulting. These are offers that are good. But if you have something to do with negotiating, remember the thing about being in the flow of life. Be easy about it. Be in a place where if you're on the phone or you're in person, where you could have anybody walk into that conversation and you would not change your demeanor for anything. Because you're, you know, we're not just saying that we're a pushover, but your energy is respectful. It's flowing. This is like, again, having some finesse about things. So I told you before, you have <clears throat> this energy of being freed up from something that's been holding you back. It is self-mastery. So I feel like, too, you're going to start to make decisions on your own terms. But whatever decision you make is going to bring a fresh viewpoint. It's just going to freshen things up. And so with this energy, it helps you find your divine life purpose, too. So if you did make it through a period where you were doing like two or three people's jobs, I also feel like that's going to give you a different perspective, too, where you won't do that again. You'd be hard-pressed to do that unless there's like a huge amount of money tied to it. I just don't see you because the problem with it, what I see is because you are a great employee. You are a go-getter. Sometimes people will sit back and just let you do that. And so I feel like you have a tipping point where you're going to have a lot more help and support. 
you need help and support, it is here. And so even if you're like a digital creator and you've been flagged, you know how I've gone through it and the other readers around here, the AI have just tried to decimate us. I don't know what they're out there doing, but anyway, if you've had some things like that, things are about to get a lot easier where you're not going to have like having to almost have your head on a swivel, watching out for, am I violating some rule here, some arbitrary rule that just got made up? So with this, this also too lets you let go of things that are any emotional baggage, anything that's weighing on you. The Wheel of Fortune though makes things spicy. It brings an energy that's fun and frisky. So you are gonna have a lot more social invitations. I do see somebody, it looks like at a marina, you know, having like a picnic and if you like to drink wine or whatever you like to do, just being in that place of that was really fun. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Listening to live music, I get that too. Just kind of in your element, just having fun, socializing. So those of you that have been so burdened and overworked, I do feel like you're coming out of that into a high vibrational place. And you know what? It begins with this one. This energy of the high priestess, her gown turns to water. You're in flow here. She's also not in any huge hurry either. And so I do feel like if you felt pressured and burdened, you're going to get into a place where things are, like I said, you can be more easygoing, where you're not in a huge hurry. There is a decision to make here, but I also feel like too, anything you do, they're telling you, be very well prepared. If you have to have a sit-down meeting or a conversation about all the work you've been doing, I even see somebody with a bullet-pointed list where it's like very well, I heard, rehearsed and organized, okay? They keep saying that, so be aware of that. Get yourself ready, all right? So let's see now what the angels want to tell you, Aries. I love readings like this. It's just so fun. What else does Aries need to know? Messages, please, for Aries. All right, you have here, the situation will improve. I can tell you it is. Communicate clearly, so be very clear about what you want and don't be shy. Meditation brings answers. We have that a few different times. You have the card of the psychic here. Within the next few weeks, and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.